I begin my morning in a beautiful exotic locale and I'll end it in a much more familiar place. The street is full of sort of semi-feral cats hiding in the shadows. They don't come too close. Little back alley that ultimately leads to the beach. You walk down this alley and then you get to the beach access right here. Those long stairs which seemed so difficult the first time I did them and are so easy to do now. And there's the ocean. One more view of it. Alright, we're leaving this place for the last time. A place that nobody could ever find. Creo en ti, Mexico. Cab driver's coming back right away. One more time down this road, but this time in a cab. It's hard to leave on a Saturday morning. And Saturdays are so fun, but it's hard to leave any day. It doesn't matter. Pick a day, it would be hard to leave. traffic en route to the airport. Adios Puerto Vallarta. Extrañarete. In the airport, getting ready to board. Going through customs. Or security. Our flight will be leaving shortly. It's not one of those planes. Taking in my last little lung full of tropical air before we get on the bus and leave Puerto Vallarta. Adios Puerto Vallarta.
Carl's 21st birthday, 1986. Tonight at Carl's birthday gathering, I felt strangely invisible, and it's a feeling that chills to the center of the soul. The single person today who expressed any concern for my welfare, any awareness of my existence even, that one person was Rene. My unexpected, hmm, attraction to him frightens me, and at the same time feeds me strength during this latest three-week-old depression. I can car feel Carl's go growing resentment towards me for what he sees as stealing his friend, when the truth is that my attraction is at least reciprocated, if not often surpassed.
on the ground at Edmonton and I don't blame that baby for crying. That's how I'm feeling too, being back. Yet ever so frigid, there's no place like home.